Hey guys, this is Eric from AgriStore USA coming back with another video. This time it's on hydraulic top links. And today I wanted to talk about some of the features of our hydraulic top links and what they can do for you, how you want to pick which top link you need, things like that. And I wanted to start with something that all of our hydraulic top links come with, and that's the double piloted check valve. All of our top links have them. This is one of our category zero top links. The check valve is what's on top. Now what this is going to do is it's going to prevent the cylinder from drifting once you have moved it into the position that you want it in. So after the rod comes out to the desired length, it'll lock in place and it won't move at all even if you're not working the lever on your valve. It's a very good safety feature, it's a very good control feature, and all of them come with it standard. The second thing I wanted to talk to you about is the ports. Most of our top links have the 3 8 BSP pipe thread, which is the British standard pipe. Some of our top links have the national pipe thread, which is what is typically used in the United States. We do have adapters that we send complementary with our BSP top links, okay? So if you see one that has the British standard pipe, 3 8 inches will give you some adapters that will convert those into the national pipe thread so that you can use it with the equipment and fittings that you already have. Now, how do you decide which category of top link you need? Well, the first thing you want to look at is the pin size on the back of your tractor, okay? It's going to start the lowest, which is this one, is 5 8 If you've got a 5 8 pin, on the back of your tractor where the top link hooks up, that 5 8 measurement is uh, for, the, for the ball in here. The next one up is the category one. Category one is three quarter inches. The category two is a one inch pinhole. The category three is a one and a quarter inch pinhole. Now those numbers roughly correspond to the horsepower of your tractor. If you've got less than 20 horsepower on your tractor, you're going to want the category zero, which is this little guy. If you've got between 20 and, and uh, 50, roughly 20 and 50 horsepower on the tractor, you're going to want a category one, this guy right here. And we have a pretty wide selection of category one top links. If you've got between 50 and 95 to 100 horsepower on your tractor, you're going to want a category two. That's the one inch pinhole. This is one of our category two top links. And if you have a category three pinhole, and that's the inch and a quarter, you're going to want this monster. And it's kind of heavy. I'm going to have trouble picking it up. This one has the inch and a quarter uh, pinhole on it. It's one of the biggest top links we carry, and it's for category three uh, if your tractor is 95 horsepower or greater. The next thing you're going to want to consider is how much output you need on your tractor. What, what kind of pushing and pulling forces are you going to need? Uh, I'll put the equations for these up in a, in a little screenshot. Basically, it's the radius of the bore squared times pi times your PSI. That's going to give you your pushing power. For the pulling power, you're going to take the radius of the bore squared and then subtract the radius of the rod squared and then multiply that by pi and then by the PSI of your tractor. Typical PSI is going to be 220 pounds per square inch and we use that for all of the calculations on our website. All right, now we're going to cover the different types of ends we have on our top links. This is the category one, and it's got two ball ends, welded on ball ends, both sides. And it's a standard end. A lot of top links come with them. If you have a mechanical top link already, it probably has the welded on ball end. And it gives you a little bit of motion as the ball turns. The next one is the swivel also called the clevis. Now the swivel is going to pivot back and forth. It, attack, it attaches to the tractor end 
and it's for increased range of motion, or if you want to leave the swivel on the tractor and move your top link to a different uh, implement, you can leave the, the swivel in place and it works um, both side to side and when it's mounted on the tractor, it'll go up and down. And finally, we have the hook, the quick attach hook. Now you'll notice this one doesn't have a ball in it, but normally it comes with a ball and it's going to sit right in here and you can have the same size ball on all of your implements. You can use this lever to quickly remove the top link from the ball on the implement and move it to a different implement. It's great if you're working with a lot of different implements on your property and you want to be able to quickly move your top link from one thing to another while you're working and not waste time taking the whole thing apart. All right, the last thing I wanted to go over with you guys is the depth measuring rod. Now, the depth measuring rod mounts to the rod of the top link, and as the rod moves in and out of the bore, it'll drag this piece of metal along with it, and it'll tell you how far left it can go in millimeters uh, with this strip. You can use it to quickly gauge um, the position of the top link and if you have some presets that you really like to use this is going to be great for knowing when that top link is at the sweet spot in the raised or lowered position. Alright guys thanks for watching I hope you learned as much as you need to know about top links if you have any other questions that I didn't cover in the video please feel free to leave them in the comments section below feel free to uh, give us a call or uh, write us on Facebook, however you want to get a hold of us. We're here for you to answer your questions. Thanks, have a good day.